Welcome everybody, this is Matt Monarch with the Raw Food World TV show, and I've been waiting for this moment for a very long time. I had a dream. This dream was to not have to bring almond butter and hazelnut butter and tahini to Ecuador anymore. It costs a hundred dollars per extra bag, so I had a dream to make my own. So I hear about all these companies making stone ground nut butter, which is of the highest quality, and I said, why can't I do it myself? So I put this manifestation dream to action, and guess what we came up with? A stone grinding nut butter machine. We're gonna kinda do this video backwards, and I'm gonna show you how to use the machine, but first we're gonna show you the end result. Check this out. Can they see the thing, the machine? I put ground almonds in here for the last few hours. I'd say, well, it's been a little bit longer than normal, but five hours they've been in here. And within just five hours, check this out. This is the stone, those are stone wheels, and the bottom is a stone plate. This is no nut butter from a Green Star juicer or from a Vitamix blender. This is the utmost quality nut butter that you will ever experience in your life. And you can make it in your own home. You can guarantee that it doesn't get heated above the enzyme mark. Check this out. This is just pure almond butter, stone ground, not shipped by UPS, not shipped overseas. This is right in your own home for pennies on the dollar. You want to get a quick a look at this right here, babe? We're going to just take some of this. Crazy, huh? It's like liquid. It's like liquid. And when you do things like Brazil nuts and macadamia nuts, you could seriously soak chia in it. It is like water, but it's really oily. So... We're gonna come right back here and we're gonna show you how to use the machine. We've got tips and recipes for healthy living. So for fun and inspiration, come and join us in the raw food world. Okay, we're back. We just made three jars of almond butter. Check this out. Wow. It's as good as can be. Before we go any further, I'd like to thank Kelly Johnson. He is the raw food, raw chocolate Jedi. He's the one who turned me on to this machine. He's the one who knows everything about anything in the raw foods movement when it comes to anything. And you can check him out at chocolatree.com or chocolatreecafe.com. So here's the machine, the incredible machine. Um, what we have here is the big canister that everything goes in. If you can see, can you see the stone at the bottom? Yeah. So that's stone right there. It's, so it's kind of like stone on stone. It doesn't oxidize. And then what we have is the stone wheels. We put this in here. It goes, goes, pops right on there. You take this and then you just screw it on. And then keep it right there, babe, because when you, so we can show them. So all you do is you put the nuts in there and you're set. But it's key to grind them down first. And you could do this in a green star juicer. You could do it in a blender. I usually do it in the blend tech or a food processor. We just finished doing coconut butter. This has been in here probably for like eight hours. We went really hardcore on this one. It needs a little bit longer. Let's take it off. Look at this. It's hard with liquid as well. This came from, we just dehydrated these coconut chips. The reason why it's a little brown is because we actually accidentally burnt a little bit, but in the dehydrator, no big deal. Um, it was just in there too long, never went over a hundred and, five degrees though, just 
on 105 degrees for too long. So check this out. Look at that. And there's no way that this is, this is like my body temperature after eight hours. It's not like 110 degrees or 100, this is like, I'm gonna say this is like 97 degrees, like no problem. It doesn't even feel like it's there. Coconut butter. Now we're just gonna pour it out. Um, I think one of the reasons why it took so long, eight hours, is because it's coconut, number one, but we did a lot, too. So the more you put in there, the longer it takes. <laughs> coconut butter. Wow. Horrible. If you put this in the refrigerator, it turns stiff. It turns hard in the refrigerator. Amazing. It smells so good. It smells good, right? Mm -hmm. Woo! And there's more. We could mm -hmm. probably get another 16 ounce. Check it out. Wow. Uh, it's liquid. The best tahini on the planet. happened. Can I take this out? Yeah. What we're going to do, wow. this is macadamia nut butter. Pourable, fresh, homemade, for probably less than half the price of buying someone else's macadamia nut butter. I could probably do another eight ounces with a spatula. Crazy. Look at this. Yummers. One and a half hours, liquid macadamia stone ground nut butter. Okay, so we got a bag of mac nuts here. I have found that it's best to do 24 ounces of nuts in this machine for ultimate success. I've done like 48 or 60 and it works too, but it tends to heat up a little bit more and also you might need to give it some extra help in the beginning because it might jam a little bit, but we'll go over that in a minute. Um, so what I do is I, I take my blend tech and I put it up to the 32 ounce mark, but that's truly only about 24 ounces worth because there's space in between everything. So it, it weighs about 24 ounces. Let's take a little bit more out. Okay, so what you do is you just take them, put them in there, and grind it down. The blend tech truly is the easiest because it's the easiest to clean, but I want to do it this way for you guys. So, it doesn't have like little clumps in there. So I'll show you in a minute. So I ground this down, and what I usually do, I usually turn this on, and just pour it in. Okay. It's already turning into nut butter. Look how fast that goes with oily nuts especially. And you're supposed to put the lid on, but we're keeping it off for now. Just so you can see. It's crazy, huh? Mm -hmm.
It's crazy. Um, at first, sometimes it takes a little bit going because there's little chunks in there. But sometimes it might get stuck and you might just have to go like this with it a couple times. If you put too much in, that's why I recommend 24 ounces. But also, the more you have in there, the more it heats up. Um, Kelly recommended putting a fan on it and it won't heat ever above 110 degrees. Now, if you put 24 ounces in, I come and check it all the time. I put my finger in it. It doesn't, it's not heated that much past body temperature. Mountain 24 ounces is like three of these. So you can get three of these every time you go. Now, um, the oily nut butters, seriously, I'm gonna, we're gonna come back every half hour and we're gonna take a look at where it's at. It, they go so fast, it's unbelievable because they're so oily. The almonds will take a little bit longer, but not. it'll take three hours to get almond butter, but the longer you keep it in, the more liquidy it becomes. But in three hours, you'll have sweet almond butter, and you know you can make it in the morning for lunch. I mean, you can even take a look at, at it now. Here, let's stop it for a second. After just two minutes. Look at that. And I mean, nut butters usually cost quite a lot, right? Yeah. Like a jar of nut butter might cost $20, $25, depending on what it is and how high quality it is. And now it's like you can just make your own nut butters for the cost of the nuts or seeds, basically. Plus, of course, your initial outlay for the machine, but that's going to pay itself off in like a few months, probably, compared to buying all of the things from other people instead, so. Right. Also, you never know how heated it's been, how long it's been stored, where it's traveled from. You make it right in your own home. You can test the temperature ongoing. It's awesome. Very innovative product. And also, you can do other things as well, right? It's not like you can oh, yeah. just do straighten up butters. You could use it to make like your own halva, like put sesame and honey in there together. Or you could use it to make chocolate, you could use it, we've done all kinds of different combinations in there. You, and of course you don't have to do like one single kind of nut or seed, you can do like combinations of nuts and seeds and it's like the possibilities are endless. How was the coconut butter we made in this thing? It's amazing, like imagine the highest quality like pourable coconut butter that you've ever come across, which probably is like thirty dollars or something, right? For a jar, it's it's like that. It's so like luxurious feeling, like really like pourable and amazing scent, and it's just beautiful. And it's so easy. Like you you take the meat out of the coconuts, dry it in the dehydrator powder it down like he just showed you grinding down the um, macadamia nuts and throw it in there and you get this incredible coconut butter. We even did that with, um, we had made flavoured coconut chips in the dehydrator so they were flavoured with lime juice, salt and spirulina and that's just like a snack that we like and we happen to have a lot of those um, spirulina snack coconut chips and so we decided let's grind them down in the nut butter machine so it made this unbelievable like savory coat like my mouth watering thinking about it coconut butter with spirulina and lime juice and salt in it so that it was just this amazing flavor punch and this bright green and beautiful so uh, you can definitely experiment a lot you, you can also just, to make it really simple, go buy coconut shreds. That's what all the people do, like um, the companies that make coconut butters, mm. and just throw it in the machine, and you have coconut butter. Just buy coconut shreds, and coconut shreds are really cheap and expensive. Um, now it's been about five minutes. Let's take a look at this. Right in there. Wow. There's no, it's not hot. The, I mean, this is like ready to go right now. This macadamia nut butter, because it's so oily, other nuts take longer. Brazil nut butter, Brazil nuts go just as fast as macadamia but nuts. Um, but it's ready to go. It's unbelievable. But we're gonna keep it in for a few hours. It's gonna turn into liquid. It's gonna be practically just oil. 
But right now you got a really good macadamia nut butter since we've started this video. Yummer. This is just after 15 minutes. I'm gonna get a spoon right now. The reason why it went so fast is because this is a very oily nut butter. Fifteen minutes. It could still go down a little bit further. That's crazy. All right, we're gonna let it go again. All right, everybody, we've been gone for about an hour and a half. It's not hot. machine, chocolate machine. Also, if we wanted to, we could take these coconut chips, grind them down and make coconut butter like Artisana's coconut butter, but better, or stone ground coconut butters on the wet on the that are out there on the websites now. Or you could just take coconut shreds and throw them in there and it'll do the same thing. Coconut butter, nut butter, stone ground, all you can imagine. We'll see you again tomorrow at the Raw Food World TV show. Thanks for joining us. See you again at the Raw Food World.